Good evening, friends. We will begin this evening's intercession with a prayer of deliverance by Pope Leo the Thirteenth. Please keep the holy water by your side, which we will use immediately after this prayer of deliverance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Blessed Saint Michael the Archangel, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Behold the cross of the Lord, flee bands of enemies. He has conquered the lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David. May your mercy, Lord, descend upon us as great as our hope in you. Let us pray. We will all make the sign of the cross on ourselves wherever we see the cross on our screens. We drive you from us, whoever you may be. Every unclean spirit, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect and sift them as wheat. The Most High God commands you, he with whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal, he who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you. God the Son commands you. God the Holy Spirit commands you. Christ, God's word made flesh, commands you. He who to save our race are done through your envy, humbled himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who has built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her because he will dwell with her all days, even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you, as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you, she who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles commands you, the blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints commands you. Thus, cursed dragon and you diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world, that he gave up his only son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God, tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and awesome name of Jesus. This name which causes hell to tremble, this name to which the virtues, powers and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. May the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work because there is no other God than you. And there can be no other for you are the creator of all things visible and invisible of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before your glorious majesty and we beseech you to deliver us by your power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits from their snares their lies and their furious wickedness deign o lord to grant us your powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound we beseech you through jesus christ our lord amen from the snares of the devil deliver us o lord that your church may 
serve you in peace and liberty. We beseech you to hear us. That you may crush down all the enemies of your church. We beseech you to hear us. Amen. We will all use the holy water and sign ourselves with the cross. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell, Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of all saints, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Friends, let's pray very specially for all those who are unwell, who have been diagnosed with the virus or with any other complications in their health. We believe that Jesus has already nailed all of their sickness, their weaknesses, their infirmities on the cross. And so we make this profession of our faith. We confess it with our mouth. What we believe in our hearts, we confess it with our mouth that by his wounds we are healed. Let us pray together. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Isaiah 53, 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Today's Holy Mass and all the intentions of the missionaries of prayer has been offered by Father Nirmal Skarya and by Father Paul Karukumbil. We thank God for both these priests. We also pray for all the priests and their family members who have been helping us, supporting us, encouraging us, giving us a daily priestly blessing and also offering Mass for us. Today we remember very specially Father Sony's uh, father who passed away, Father Sony helps us, gives us the daily priestly blessing. Whenever we don't have a priest, he's always willing to come and help us. Let's pray very specially for Father Sony's father, that his soul may rest in eternal peace in the Lord. We also pray for all the priests who have been supporting us, that they may be, that they are blessed, that they have a hedge around their lives and their lives are preserved in good health and well-being, that they are protected from all harm and danger, and that they receive a powerful fire anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Today's Holy Rosary is being led by Dillis and her daughter Ellis. Ellis is also going to be celebrating her 18th birthday on the 27th. So we thank God for the grace and the blessing of Ellis to the family and to the whole world. We will begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the blessed Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, daughter of the eternal Father, strengthen our faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of the beloved Son, increase our hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, radiant temple of the Holy Spirit, deepen our love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of Jesus in the garden. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people perish because... They lack knowledge. In the Gospels, Jesus tells that are you not wrong because you know neither the scripture nor the power of God. Friends, during this time, very difficult moments that many of us are going through. People are going through a crisis because they are losing loved ones. Maybe they are testing positive. There are so many other things that are hitting them from every side. But the word of God says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And are you not wrong because you know neither the scripture nor the power of God? In life's situations, there are ways in which we have to use the wisdom that God has blessed us with. I was listening to a friend who was sharing how both husband and wife were COVID positive. And in the night when she was taking the saturation level, she noticed that the oxygen saturation was low in her husband. However, she chose not to disclose that. And she just told her husband, everything is fine. Everything is normal. And her husband, she says, slept through the night like a baby without any disturbance, no anxiety. And he woke up early in the morning fresh. And that amounted to his healing and recovery as well. Sometimes we find that we have too much of knowledge of the world and what is happening around us. But do we know what the word of God is? Do we know in moments of crisis, what is the promise of God? So easily we say that this may have been the will of God. But do we know that the will of God is the promise of God? It is the same. The promise of God is the will of God. So friends, as we meditate on this first mystery of the sorrowful mystery, we remember how much of agony Jesus went through. 
if each of us can understand that Jesus goes through an agony, if we don't draw close to his word, he cannot bear it to see that he died on the cross and yet his people perish because of lack of knowledge. We do not realize, we do not understand what Jesus has done on the cross, which is why we go through a lot of trouble and trials in our life. We thank you, Lord, that you have blessed us with wisdom. You have blessed us, Lord, with this Bible study where we understand who we are and how we ought to respond to life situation, knowing what you have done for us on the cross. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed I am amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. It is not easy for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Apostles, and all of Jesus' disciples to see Jesus being scourged on the pillar. Haven't we also come across very difficult moments in our life? Maybe a child while having his food, a fish bone maybe got caught in the throat. If we know what we need to do, then we can help the child. Suppose the children have gone out swimming into the river and we notice that the child is drowning. There is a time and there is a way of jumping in and rescuing the child or else we can be pulled into the current. Have there been moments when maybe there has been a burn, a very, a very bad burn, a third degree burn, and we, if we know what has to be done, then we could save that person from dehydration and from fatality. If there has been a snake bite, if we know how to render first aid, then we could save, we could save that person. How often have we been in situations in our life when we have felt we, we, have, we do not know what to do? Which is why in Hosea 4, 6, again and again, the Lord reminds us, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. 
the Lord says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. But how will we love Jesus if we do not know what his commandments are? If we do not know his word, how and what is it that will we obey? In moments of crisis, as a Christian, we are called to look back into the word of God. What is the promise of God? Joshua and Caleb did not look at the giants. They were not intimidated by the fortified cities. They were not intimidated by the large stature of the giants. They held on to the promise of God, that God would redeem them, would lead them out from slavery into the promised land flowing with milk and honey. And they held on to it and they believed it. They believed that, that these giants were like bread to them. They believed that they had the power to go and possess and capture the land because God was with them and God had promised them this. In moments of crisis, whether it's COVID or finance or whatever that we are going through now, what are we holding on to? Do we know what is God's will for us? God's promise is God's will for us. Let us thank God for giving us this grace and the wisdom to turn back to his word, to turn back to his promises and hold on to that and not look at our circumstances and be afraid. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. We just heard that when in a moment of crisis, we do not look at facts, we do not go by the circumstances, we do not look at what all are the factual reports that doctors and labs are giving, but we hold on to the promise of God. The promise is this. In Isaiah 53, 5, it says, By his stripes we are healed. It does not say that by his stripes we may be healed or we could be healed. But the promise is definite. By his stripes we are healed. 2,000 years ago, Jesus, when he died on the cross, he nailed our sickness. Whether it is inner wounds or physical ailments or whatever it may be, 
Jesus has nailed it on the cross. Matthew 8, 17 says, for he took our, he bore our weakness and he took our infirmities. He took it upon himself so that we could be set free, healed, and so that we can enjoy life and life in abundance, not only after we die and leave this earth, but here on earth now when we live. And so if this is the promise that by his stripes we are healed, and yet there are manifestations of sickness on our body, what does St. Paul say? In Philippians 4, 6, St. Paul says, Do not be worried, do not be anxious about anything, but in all things, in prayer and supplication, make your request known with thanksgiving. So if we see that there is a certain manifestation of sickness on us, we have just been um, reported that we, we are COVID positive, then we do not give in to panic. We do not yield to fright or fear. We do not get worried. But as St. Paul says, we offer our anxiety into prayer. And how do we pray? We make a prayer of thanksgiving, remembering the promise of God. And therefore, our prayer will never be, Lord, please heal me. Lord, please heal me. But it will be, thank you, Lord, that by your stripes, we are healed. Thank you, Lord, that by your wounds, we are healed. If this is our, if this is our attitude, if this is brought to our remembrance, and if we live that promise, then we will not go into breathlessness. We will not, our health will not deteriorate. Most of the doctors today are saying a lot of the breathlessness can be tackled if our first response itself is calm and we do not panic. So friends, at this moment, I'm sure maybe some of us who are listening, we, are, we have become COVID positive or maybe it's your loved ones, let us reassure ourselves of the promise of God. The promise of God is this, that by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of your mercy Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. 
the fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Jesus did not carry his cross for it to be wasted. The Lord told his disciples in Luke 10, 19, for I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Whether it is debt, whether it is sickness, whether it is sin, whatever it may be that is making us miserable. The Lord has given us the authority to trample on these snakes and scorpions that have, that have the audacity to, to come and tempt us and, and, and to torment us. No matter how venomous the snakes may be, the Lord doesn't tell us that maybe these snakes will overcome you, but a few snakes you will be able to trample. The Lord makes it very clear that he has given us the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and the powers of the enemy will not harm us. If we are to look at how Jesus and the apostles in the boat and the storm had struck them, the disciples were afraid and while Jesus was sleeping, they ran to him to show how dependent they were because out of fear, they had no other option. They did not call out to other boats or to other fishermen, but they did the right thing. They ran to Jesus and they said, do you not care for us that we are going to die? Jesus wakes up and he rebukes the storm and he turns to the apostles and says, you of little faith. Jesus would have been so happy had the apostles, instead of showing just blind dependence, if they had remembered that all authority has been given to them, or even if they had remembered the power and the authority with which Jesus had, had fulfilled his ministry, his work, and they had taken the, they had, they had shown the willingness to even imitate their master to say that let the master sleep, let the master rest, let us do what our master did. And if they had rebuked the storm, Jesus would have woken up and said, well done, you good and faithful servant. Most of us, we are so used to showing Jesus that we are so dependent on him. While that is a great virtue, what Jesus expects of us is to use the talents to use the authority, to use the knowledge that God has blessed us with to live a victorious Christian life, not to, not to draw a long face, not to live a life that seems like it is such a miserable life to follow Christ, because if you draw close to Jesus, then your life is filled with suffering. What are we showing to the world? Did the apostles live the same way to show that if they followed Jesus, then they lived a miserable life? The only place where they took suffering willingly was when they were imprisoned. They were flogged. They were stripped. They were humiliated, calumniated for the sake of Jesus. For the sake of Jesus. For the sake of the gospel. These things that we carry on ourselves like debt and sickness and injustice, all of this has been taken by Jesus on the cross. There are other greater causes for which we have to suffer. Just as the master suffered, we too will suffer. But there are other things where Jesus has already given us a victory, where Jesus has already taken it upon the cross, that we may live a life and a life of abundance. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus, we pray very specially. And we thank God for giving every one of us this grace to understand what Jesus has done on the cross for us. The finished work of Jesus, the love of Jesus. I'd like to take a small story to reflect on this on this decade. Every one of us have committed some sin or the other. None of us are perfect. None of us are holy like God himself. And so if I have committed a sin, then the court orders that I be convicted and that I go into the gallows and I have to pay for this crime with my life. I also have to pay a penalty. Jesus, out of his great love for me, he says, I will take all the crime that you have committed. Your crime will be erased from your name and I will take it upon myself. And all the punishment that was due to you for that crime that you committed, I will take it upon myself so that you can go free. And so Jesus, takes all of our sin and he takes our punishment as well and the court orders that I can go free because Jesus was willing to take up my sin as though he had committed it. He was willing to take up the punishment as though he had committed that crime and he says that I will pay a penalty with my blood and so the court orders that I am set free and I am released from the prison. Yet the wicked jailer, the prison captain, refuses to send me out because I am still inside the prison. Although I know somewhere vaguely what Jesus has done on the cross and that he loves me, I still kneel down, lift my hands and cry out to God to help me and to rescue me and to heal me and deliver me. I am fasting. I am doing penance. I'm doing all sorts of things and causing pain to myself and to my body and crying out to God to have mercy on me. How much more mercy can God show us? He has sent his only son. His son took upon himself all our crime, our punishment, and he paid the penalty with his life and his blood. How much more mercy can he give us? He has poured out all of his life, his mercy and all that he is into our life. And so the jailer, knowing that Jesus, although all that he has done has set me free, he is, he is unperturbed because he sees me not knowing what Jesus has done on the cross. And so he's not bothered. He says, I don't care what Jesus has done on the cross. Neither do I care about how much I am. Sharu is praying. 
but the moment i realize that jesus has taken my crime he has taken my punishment he's paid the, my penalty and I, and so the court has ordered me to be set free the moment i realize and i understand this and i understand that i have the authority to be set free and to ask the jailer to set me free i will now begin to speak with authority i will tell the jailer you have no right to keep me here i am set free by the blood of jesus by the bruises of jesus you have to set you have to allow me to go out you cannot keep me here once i start taking authority i understand what jesus has done on the cross for me then the devil will tremble the day that christians understand understand what jesus has done on the cross and the finished work of jesus the divine exchange that has taken place then the devil will tremble and he will have no other option but to set us free because he realizes now that we know who we are and we know the authority that has been bestowed upon us we thank god for this great grace and wisdom and knowledge that he has given us to understand and to believe and to live out this finished work of jesus amen our father in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor, banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this home, most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Redeemer. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Mother of mercy, pray for us. Mother of hope, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of the sinners, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Comfort of migrants, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived with our original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, thy servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we be delivered from the pres from present sorrow, present sorrow, and enjoy eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hence, let us pray very specially for this family: Dillis, Roji, Anna, Ellis, and Matthew. Having Lord, we thank you and praise you for, for bringing this family together in your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for the hedge around their lives. Thank you, Lord, for your favor that abounds in their life. Thank you, Lord, that you are drawing them closer to your word. Thank you for your wisdom that prevails in them. We pray especially for Ellis, Lord, for her future and for her vocation. Lord, we thank you and praise you that you always keep her under your eyes and you guide her all the days of her life. Amen. We will all bow down and receive the priestly blessing. Let us, let let us pray with the Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run, but not be faint. Let us pray for that very special grace of perseverance in our life, in our spiritual life. And wherever we are, let's have the sense of hope, faith, and perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father.